My name is Jose Hernandez. My job title, I'm the director for the, um, well, I'm the director of education and professional development for the Office of Institutional Equity and Inclusion. What I'm responsible primarily is for teaching uh, education compliance and law for faculty, students, leadership, and staff. Teaching them what um, Title IX, Title VII, what it all means and what it really means and how we compliance and stuff like that. My family has always been religious. That could, I mean, they were Catholic, um, but the thing was this, uh, when I was young, the, ch the church, the Christian church um, back in my old hometown was built right across the street from my house. So it was kind of hard to avoid it, right? Uh, and I got, I got involved very young. I got involved very young. In, there was one point that all my family decided to just not go to church anymore, but I always kept pursuing. More than just spiritual uh, aspects, there was community there. I, had, I felt like I had purpose, I had refuge. And so the church became all these things for me. A lot happened for me to get here in a bad way. Um, I was serving as a youth director. I had a follow-up with my pastor. I had a follow-up with some relationships. Um, and honestly, that left me very devastated. For someone who's always had their identity in, in ministry and all these other things, to be so young and not have it anymore, I kind of feel like I don't know what to do now. I lost my financial aid. And I remember when they asked, they sent that application for reinstatement, they asked you, what are you gonna do so things can be different so you won't fall where you fell through? And it was in that paper I remember writing, I'm gonna to go to Liberty University, I'm gonna get away from it all, and I'm gonna start again. So that process was definitely very, very emotional to me. I did not arrive to Lynchburg, Virginia in good condition. I arrived devastated, a mess. And one of the, so that process, that first, first year, even the first couple of months, like, it was definitely one of the most hardest spiritual journeys for me. I, I didn't always, I didn't have the easiest childhood growing up. And so I remember when you hear about God's perfect love, it's kind of hard to understand when you don't have context. You don't have like, what does it look like? And I remember I told God, I was like, God, look, I, I feel like I feel like it's this painting that is not that pretty, but I'm supposed to get from this perfect love. And I remember the Lord kind of telling me, um, those parts that are ugly, paint them in red. And it's like just kind of me and Him devotion. As you paint those parts in red, then the picture becomes perfect because you're not seeing it through your own eyes. There is this quote by Saint Augustine that says um, pray because everything depends on God, but work because everything depends on you. So that has motivated me here, that whatever it is that has been put in front of me, I'm gonna give in my all, I'm gonna give my blood, my sweat, my tears, knowing that I have to do everything because at the same time I have to be praying because it all, it's all up to Him. Who is God to me? <sighs> Man. He's the painting. He's that original painting that I remember saying that I know things look rough, but paint them red. And, and once you do it that way, you'll be able to see things like I see things. And uh, you'll get the right perspective.